Goals that are worthwhile to achieve in your business and in your life are typically quite challenging. If it wasn't challenging, it would have been done already, or if it was so easy, it would feel less worthwhile. But typically, if you want to accomplish something important, it is it will come with many challenges uh, and you will have to manage your emotions and manage your mind in order to accomplish this project. Let me share with you eight methods that people use, use successfully to get themselves motivated to do that important and worthwhile project, to overcome procrastination and fear and confusion, lack of clarity, etc. As I share with you these eight methods, I invite you to score them for yourself because no, no, it's, chances are it's not that all eight are going to work, with, work for you perfectly, but that there are going to be some or one of these that's going to work with you amazingly, work for you amazingly well, and there are others that will not work for you but will work for other people. So score each of these eight as I go along. You could score it from zero to ten, zero being it wouldn't work for you at all, ten being that's amazing, it definitely will work for you. So. I, and I'd love to actually know as you watch this video, as you score it, you might just comment below the video. It'll help me to know what seems to be uh, most effective for, for most of you, okay? So method number one is connecting to the big picture. And this tends to work well for people who love to dream about what's possible. So here's how you would use this. Take a moment, okay? And so let's say you've got a, an item on your to-do list that you that that is challenging for you or a project that you're working on that's that's difficult take a moment before you jump into the project if you want to get more motivated take a moment okay and uh, think about a couple things and if for those of you who are good at visualization like seeing things in your mind in your mind's eye you can do the visualization but for those of you who aren't you can write it down or for those of you who are more verbal you might actually record your answers to this um, you know, an audio, private audio recording. You can always listen back to this later to motivate yourself. So, number one, how does this action or project matter to the overall arc or overall plan or vision for your business or your life, whatever kind of project you're working on? Okay, that's number one. Number two, who is going to be impacted? Imagine the ripple effects of you completing this thing, okay? It, for example, making this video will serve my audience and I can even see specific people who will be served by this. Or maybe it's a project that will serve my customers, my clients well. Or maybe you're working on something that, that, that's important for your, for your kids, that if they see you accomplish this, that they will be so proud, et cetera. So who is gonna be impacted? That's number two. Number three is see yourself doing this task that you, are, you have on your plate right now. See yourself doing it with joy or ease or grace or, or whatever spirit or attitude that you want to do things with, okay? So those are the three things. Um, and that's, that's the method of connecting to the big picture. All right. The second method is having an accountability partner. This could be a daily accountability partner or a weekly. Weekly is usually a bit easier for people to, to agree to. And so <clears throat> this works really well for a lot of people. So I really encourage you cons to, to try it out, consider it. An accountability partner could be a friend, could be a colleague. It could be even someone you meet in this community. Uh, you can even comment below this video and say that you're looking for an accountability partner. And so what do you do with an accountability partner? So the idea is that you meet with that person over Skype, over phone, video chat, um, once a week, and it could just be uh, a 15 minute call, you know, five to seven minutes per person, okay? Or if, you, if you're more chatty, you can go up to half an hour, or some people even do one hour. But start with 15 minutes and see how that goes. And in that call, I invite you to share three things. Okay, number one, what progress would you like to celebrate? What did you get done since the last time you talked? Now, not don't list off a whole list of to-do to-do items. That's not useful. But talk about the the 
two to three or one to three most significant uh, things you got done that moved your business forward since the last time you and your partner talked since really in the past week okay secondly did you accomplish what you said you would accomplish in the last call okay so at the end of each call you know I, I really invite you to to uh, share what your commit your action commitments are for this coming week right so so really the second thing is well, did you accomplish it if you did not accomplish what you said you would does that task still apply is it still important and how will you do things differently this week in order to actually accomplish it is there something you can do differently chunking it down or modifying the, the task or going to a different environment in order to do it okay if you did accomplish it then then the question is wonderful what will you accomplish then this coming week what will you like to accomplish and celebrate the next time you talk and the third thing to, to talk about is how will you approach your work what is the spirit from which you approach your work what's the attitude that you're going to embody as you do your work this coming week okay and if you want to do multiple check-ins with uh, you know if you once a week isn't enough for you you can ask your partner if they'd be willing to do three times a week and and if they're not think about finding multiple accountability partners maybe you have three different accountability partners when you check in with once a week if you want to do some more often now really important final step actually after the call you must send your action commitments to your accountability partner and you expect them and ask them to do the same research has shown that people who do this who send their action commitments to their accountability partner accomplish on average 77 percent more than people who did not write down their goals okay so very important now if for some reason scheduling a call doesn't work out you could still send reports to each other over email all right the third motivational method is co-working co-working is when you get together with a group of people it can be as small as two or three others or one or two others uh, and it, or it could be a larger group and you shut off you make an agreement that you're going to spend an hour or, or even half an hour or it could be longer it could be two or three hours um, working in a focused way on a project that's important to you so each person as you can see each person is working on a project or a task or a or goal that's important to them okay so it's not you're not chatting among each other you're working in a focused way but you're doing it in camaraderie you're doing it with you might say the energetic support the moral support of others who are also working on their important project uh, I've been facilitating virtual co-working sessions for almost six actually for six months now and it's been amazing we've gotten so much done people who've come to the session so I invite you to come to my virtual co-working sessions if you'd like you can go to georgecow.com slash co-working c-o-w-o-r-k-i-n-g and uh, you can sign up for it there um, one thing I find really helpful with co-working is to set a timer so we do 25 minute segments 25 minutes at a time and so when we set a timer everyone can see the timer um, it gives a sense of focus uh, and it works really well okay so the next motivational method is to create a public event promising a deliverable what I mean is for example if you want to get an important project done okay you can announce it on Facebook okay to your friends and your network saying okay I've got I'm, I've, I have this important uh, thing I want to get done and it's important enough for me to to create a an event a webinar a, a Google Hangout um, it could be a, you could use zoom.us or Google Hangout to do this or blab blab dot I am but you use um, you 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 set a date and a time when you when you invite your friends and your colleagues to attend even if it's for 15 minutes okay just to, just to celebrate that you did that thing does that make sense so you set a date and a time and invite people and it could be again it could be a virtual meeting where you promise that you will have done this thing this big thing that you, that's important to you now here's the important thing is don't 
make it such a stretch, such a difficult thing to do by that date that you will get all stressed out. That's not the point. The point is to choose a goal that is important to you, but that is not something you would just do without any motivation, but that it does take motivation, it does take focus and, and diligent work. Uh, it's a bit of a stretch for you, but you believe you can do it with the public accountability of your friends and colleagues. That makes sense? I have done this throughout the years. It's one of my favorite motivational methods. Uh, one thing I do use is this public motivational thing, a public uh, meeting, public event, to deliver some content that I, I, I promise people I'm going to put together, uh, teaching something that I know. Okay, so that's the, how I use it. All right. The next motivational method is to keep chunking it down. Keep chunking it down. What I mean is, and I, I use this a lot as well in my day-to-day -day work. When I find myself procrastinating, I write down two things, okay? I'm, I have this project that I'm supposed to be working on and I'm procrastinating. I, I, do two th I write down two things. Number one is what is the, and I write down in one or two lines, what is the end vision after completing this, okay? I would like to complete um, creating uh, four videos today, and you, I, I even include, because it will serve my audience and truly benefit their business, okay, for example. Uh, and then the second thing I write down is each of the small baby steps, the doable actions that make it less intimidating for me. So creating four videos sounds daunting, but if I say, step one, open a document. Step two, um, write down the three things that I must say in the first video. Step three, write down the three things I must say in the second video, etc. So I kind of write down as in a granular way as possible, what are the small steps that will allow me to then accomplish that bigger vision that I wrote down first. So chunk it down. It, I, I use this all the time. I encourage you to try it as well. The next motivational method is setting a small deadline. Now, actually, uh, you could say due date deadline. One of my clients really pr likes to say lifeline instead of a deadline. Okay, it's a lifeline to pull you forward and to accomplish something. Setting a small uh, due date for a very doable action. So, for example, uh, back to the idea of recording videos, uh, I could say, I will brainstorm three things that I must say in my next video by Friday. Okay, so it's very doable and I have a specific date when it's due. So some people find that really helpful. Uh, if you have several actions that you want to do and they're all doable actions, you can lump them together, say I will do these three actions by Friday or we can try setting different deadlines for each action. Okay, the next um, motivational method is to calendar, calendar in a time when you will be working on the project. I use this all the time. So this is one of my favorite motivational methods. Uh, basically, I'll, I'll get, again, I'll use the example of recording these videos that I do, right? If I just say I'm going to record videos, um, I'm going to have them done by such and such time, uh, it typically becomes really stressful for me like because I didn't, I, didn't put, I didn't look at my calendar and see when I can actually do it. I have appointments with clients, I have appointments with other people, I have other things I need to do. When am I actually going to make the video? So it's very helpful for me and motivational for me to put a specific uh, two-hour slot on a Wednesday afternoon when I will be making my four videos uh, and that helps me out a lot. Um, I call this the art of setting appointments with yourself. And my encouragement here for you is you are your most important client. So learn how to set appointments with yourself and to keep it. Okay, so let's go to the next motivational method, the final one I want to share in this video, which is to plan a project retreat. Plan a project retreat. Now this is useful for those of you who find yourselves distracted from your every, in your everyday environment in terms of not being able to get things done. So it could be that you have family members who are continually asking you, making requests of you. Uh, it could be that you live with you know, a roommate that is distracting. 
uh, it could just be that at home or in your office, uh, you just have so many things calling out for your attention, so many things tempting you that you find it hard to, to do your deep work, the, the work that will really move your career forward, okay, to move your business forward. It could be writing a book. It could be drafting your website. It could be writing a talk. It could be completing a, uh, um, a particular product or something like that. So planning a project retreat can be really helpful. Uh, simple steps I have for you is go to airbnb.com, A-I-R-B-N-B.com, okay? And okay, this is for those of you who live in a major metropolitan area. Uh, I'll, for those of you who don't live in a major metro area, um, you, you would probably need to ask, ask a friend Okay, ask a friend to see, hey, can I, can I borrow a room in your home uh, for, for one afternoon uh, next week or set a date, you know? Or, or if you have a, have a restaurant or cafe nearby that helps you to work, that gives you focus, then put a time in your, set a, an appointment in your calendar for, an, for a whole afternoon to go to that, that's a project retreat. Or if you use Airbnb, uh, like like I, I'm lucky to have in, in the Bay Area, you know, I sixty dollars I can get a, a nice room uh, locally, okay, uh, in you know, overnight stay and plus a couple hours the next day, uh, where I can focus without distractions and complete whatever important project that I've been procrastinating on. So the, the reason why this works is because when you go into a different environment, you don't have the same temptations. You don't have the same visual cues and audio cues that distract you. In a different environment, you kind of have a fresh template to, to, to do your deep work. So you may want to try this out. This is transformational for, for some people. So I hope I hope one of these eight has resonated with you. I actually look forward to seeing what your scores are for these eight. What do you think will work for you? What don't you think will work for you? Let me know underneath this video. And I also invite you to take the next step and say, okay, given that this particular method is going to work for me, I commit to using this method by, you know, well, you use the, you know, setting a deadline, it helps or not. Let me know what method you're going to try and use and then report back also in the comments if you have used something. Um, and the last thing I'll say is if there is another motivational method that works for you that I didn't mention, uh, please comment because that may help others who are watching this as well. Take care.